Bye, greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And today, 11th day of May 2019, and I'm Viktor Fursov, and today I am in Kyiv, Ukraine, and I'm very pleased to show you some insects which are coming now in a very warm day of May after the week of cold weather and rainy time. And these are beetles here running, but fortunately not jumping. And they are very interesting. Who are they? I will tell you about it in this video. So follow this video. Well, and what are these beetles? And actually these are carnivorous beetles. This is the family Carabida beetles. Round beetles. Okay, they are sitting here inside Petri dish. Because today I was walking with my dog, with my pet, and I found that all insects were just hatching and crawling around, so I thought this is the time to collect a little bit of insects to show them on my video. So, because sunny day and running insects just on asphalt, that's really very funny. Well, because in a what? In a cold temperature, insects were cold blooded, so they do not move, and if it became warmer, they try to distribute, to make their position, we try to find new source of food, new place of life, and so they are crawling around, and all these beetles were crawling on asphalt. So we can say not round beetles, but asphalt beetles. And do they make any damage, or do they do any dangerous for people? No, not at all. They're very, very ecologically safe and even say they're beneficial. Okay, beneficial, this term is very artificial in nature. Everyone is, everything is artificial. Not artificially beneficial or not beneficial. Everyone is beneficial for nature. And these beetles were carnivores. They are hunting for other animals, for worms, for mollusks, for snails, for tiny insects, for tiny arthropods, for their food. So that's why we were searching for food on asphalt, like this beetle. Not like this beetle, this red bug. This red bug is searching for plants, for them plants and seeds of food. Sometimes we eat dead insects. These bugs, fire bugs, but these beetles, ground beetles, we need usually live animals, like caterpillars, like larvae, like like worms. So we were crawling on some plants, searching for caterpillars and larvae, and I got them just to my jar on asphalt, just for fun, just to show them on a high magnification and all together <coughs> in this petri dish. And unfortunately I should say either I damaged some of them so they lost some legs or the most important that I need to release them back because it's dangerous to keep them all together. Otherwise they are hungry, they will eat each other. Yes, we will destroy all this population. Only the strongest will survive. I'm quite sure that here probably three species of these ground beetles. I don't know the name because I'm specialist on parasitic wasp and not beetles. If you know the name, please write your comments under this video. I will consult with my friends <coughs> before. Like this snail, I collected this snail, so snail is not out. Snail is hidden inside, so but maybe can be eaten later. Well, so this, uh, these ground beetles actually they are carnivorous and they can, can be considered as beneficial for, for humans, because if you have a farm, a countryside house, they will be hunting for tiny caterpillars, which will eat different plants in your garden. So that's why they can be considered as protectors, of your, as a guide, guards, of your garden. 
And these ground beetles actually were pretty nice because we have a shining elytras. And you see sun shining violet, blue, greenish, greenish body. Looks very nice. But please do not collect them for your collection. Please release them because we have a nice environment somewhere just on the ground. We can be easily can easily escape, but we cannot penetrate this wall of this petri dish one centimeter. So we are not jumping. So unfortunately for them, we are not so extremely active. Relatively quickly crawling, but not so much as other species of beetles. And we have a small size, less than 10 millimeters. And I guess so probably all of them belonging to family Carabida ground beetles, if I do not mistaken, because some families slightly similar in shape, like Tenebranida beetles, which is sometimes very similar, but I will show them later and show you difference between different species. What we are doing? What we are doing? We are just talking or we are trying to each eat each other. Difficult to say, we, uh, but maybe we eat sometimes secrets. We feed on secrets on one another because sometimes beetles were making kind of excretes fermentation on their body. At least it looks like they're communicating using their pulpy. You see, it looks like like to ants, these two beetles we also can communicate. Yeah. Of course, we are not chimpanzees. We are not making sounds. But who knows? Maybe we do not hear them at all because we can make in very tiny sounds, only hearable only for them. So these are lovely round beetles, family carabida, and I'm very pleased to show them and I will be very pleased to release them back to the nature, somewhere to the ground, because they can easily crawl in on ground and then hide inside the ground. Yeah, and don't forget because they're, that they are beneficial for us. They control population of different species of herbivorous, herbivorous insects because they are carnivorous and carnivorous sometimes they are useful for farmers. Thank you for watching, press likes, write your comments and ask your questions. <coughs> Good luck and see you soon on my channel as a subscriber. Don't forget to press on comments or on the bell because it's helping me to see feedback that this my video were interesting for you English or in with English language or with Russian language whatever you want if you like more English clips I will do it for you with not only with my travels but with animals as well so thank you for watching this zoo this zoo should be released as soon as possible otherwise we will to each other. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you soon and I show this zoo. Yeah, that's there. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel.